Today, barbecue is a big part of American culture. Grilling food over an open flame and enjoying it together is how millions of people celebrate public holidays, sporting events, and everything in between. But did you know that this staple of the great American menu is actually older than the United States? American barbecue has its roots in the Caribbean islands, where in 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew of Spanish explorers followed their noses inland, becoming the first Europeans to observe members of the Taino tribe slow cooking whole sheep over an open fire. The Taino called it Berebiku, and that's where we get the name barbecue. From there, the carnivorous colonizers brought this style of barbecue to the North American colonies, where enslaved men and women were later given the labor-intensive jobs of preparing and cooking animals over pits dug into the ground. Drawing on their African heritage, enslaved people began serving cooked meat with a sauce made from citrus juice and hot peppers, the precursor to barbecue sauce. President George Washington loved barbecue so much, he had a smokehouse built at Mount Vernon and famously wrote about attending a barbecue that lasted for three whole days. Following the Civil War, freed black pit masters helped to spread the culinary art of barbecue by working as chefs. And as the 19th century merged into the 20th, specialized barbecue restaurants exploded across the country. Established in 1942, Brenda's Barbecue Pit, a Black-owned business in Montgomery, Alabama, became an important gathering place for civil rights organizers in the 1950s. Today, of course, you can find barbecue in just about every city in America, reflecting the culture, history, and traditions of their citizens. From Carolina pulled pork to Memphis dry rub, it's adored by working Americans and fine dining chefs alike. How does the story of barbecue reflect the influences of multiple cultures in American society? 